everyone, welcome to Craft With Us. Today we're going to be making flower pot wind chimes. So what you're going to need is a flower pot with a hole in the bottom, some string, um, make sure it's pretty thick string just so it holds, some white glue and a skewer to apply the glue, and then just whatever you want to hang on your wind chime that'll clank around and make the sound. So I have here buttons, some wooden beads, and some plastic beads. You can use a CD, you can also use spoons or those metal chimes that they sell at the dollar store. This part is completely up to you. If you want, you can paint or decorate your pot. Whatever design you want, just make sure that whatever design is facing up because it's going to be hanging from a hanger above this hole. So it's going to be hanging upside down. Alright, let's get started. So once you've decorated your flower pot, if you're going to, then you're going to decide how many strands you want hanging down and cut a length of string for each one of those strands. And then you're just going to thread your beads or spoons or whatever onto your string and then we'll go from there. So I've decided to put th buttons at the end of each one and then use beads. When you're cutting the string, make sure you have enough for what you want to hang down and then what's going to come up through the pot, and then you want to have enough to make a loop at the end. So you need quite a good length of string. I would recommend securing whatever you're going to put at the end of your string with a tight knot and some glue and let that dry for a bit. Once your first knot is dry, you can string whatever decorations you want onto each of your strands. Once you have all your strands finished, you can feed each of the strings up through the bottom of your pot. When you have all your strings threaded through, it's a good idea to secure that with a knot and a little bit more glue on the knot. Once the glue is dry, use one of the strings to tie a hanging loop, and then you can cut off all the excess string. And there you have it! Your very own DIY flower pot wind chime! Don't forget to join us live on Facebook on Friday at 2pm. This week we're making mini greenhouses. Thanks for watching! Bye.